that song we just heard about was about Christmas, and you guys know in China, Lunar New Year is like Christmas for us. And my name is David, and this morning I'm going to start off the Lunar New Year celebration with a short story of mine. For those who has no idea what Lunar New Year looks like, I actually do share a similar experience with you guys. Because the first time I went back to China to celebrate Lunar New Year was when I was six years old. Before that, I lived in Australia, and I never got the chance to go back to China to celebrate it. I still remember that the first thing I see when I stepped out of that plane was that every single corner of the street was covered in red. The color that represents the vibrancy and the spirit of luck during the Chinese New Lunar New Year period, and also Baylor. <laughs> and um, it is always a tradition to go back to a grandparents' house during Lunar New Year, and we made no exceptions. Me and my family went back to uh, our grandmom's house in Beijing, and it was magnificent because the first thing I thought when I entered that room was a giant round table in the middle of the living room. And it was loaded with dishes and plates of food, and I was so confused. I look at my mom, I look at the table, I ask her, Mom, how am I gonna finish all these? There's like 15 plates of food, there's steaks, there are veggies, there are fruits, there's something bubbling over there, and there's a grilled duck chilling on top of a plate of tofu. Like, what is going on with all these? And my mom looked at me as if she was looking at an idiot. And before she could say anything, the door got popped open. Something like 20 people entered the room. There were some kids, some elderly, a lady with a red jacket, like people that I've never met in my life before. And then, um, I don't know whether you guys can tell or not, but I was genuinely confused over there. And then they settled down, they introduced themselves to me because it was the first time I went back home. I realized that those were all family relatives of mine. Some of them are, are my uncles, are my aunts, are my cousins, and they're all nice people. After that dinner, we went outside, we set off the fireworks, and that's the favorite part of uh, my experience of Lunar New Year. And uh, it was 12 o'clock, we celebrated New Year together. That was a good night. That experience was especially memorable because of three reasons. Firstly, the food that night was absolutely delicious. Those were probably some of the best Chinese food I've ever had in my life. I mean, I wouldn't say it in front of my mom because in her opinion, she cooks the best dishes. But hey, those are some delicious food right there. And secondly, the atmosphere was absolutely electric. No matter where you are from, who you are, if you go to China during Chinese New Year, you are our brothers and sisters. Third and finally, I didn't know that I had six cousins, three uncles, and seven aunts that I have never known existence before after that dinner. I didn't know that Lunar New Year will bring you new family relatives, but I know that some of them support the same soccer club as I do, so I guess that's a nice addition to what an already incredible experience. So in the end, I feel like Lunar New Year is just a special celebration that has been um, adapted in recent years because of uh, people who start scattered around in foreign places of uh, Chinese population and Asian population. But for me, it's a memorable experience, especially uh, as a kid. The first time I encountered that scenario was special. So that's a short story of mine, of my first interference with uh, Chinese New Year. Next up, let's welcome um, Henry and Amanda to introduce you guys some traditions in details. And I have to say, that was a good night. Well, hey there. Um, so yeah, that was a fun story, but now the things are boring. Now you have to bear with me with that because I know it's, it's a Monday morning and the last time I did something similar with this was in middle school where I talked, went a 10 minute long video about Renaissance and sitting there in the classroom listening to myself talking for 10 minutes was not fun. So I, I promise I'll make it, I'll, I'll make it quick. <laughs> so probably uh, most of y'all know that this year's Lunar New Year is the year of rabbit or bunny or whatever you want to call it. 
And there are in total 12 different zodiacs, and each year there's a different one that occurs from um, the rat, the mouse, to um, the pig at the end. And during uh, Lunar New Year, some of the things um, most of us do, or at least I've experienced, is hanging up red couplet or things that are red and setting off fireworks. So this might seem like a really common tradition for a lot of people, and most of y'all would probably heard of that and experienced that before on campus or in places, but there's actually a story to this. So back in a long time ago, there was a village where there was a monster that came and attacked villagers on the day before uh, New Year's Eve, and its name is Xi. And people then realized that Xi was really afraid of bright colors like red and also loud sound and light. So um, before New Year, on New Year's Eve, uh, the people in the village set off fireworks to, which make loud sounds and noise and hang up um, red couplets so they could scare the Xi away. However, Xi is not dead at the end, so each year they have to do the same thing and follow the tradition. So also in Chinese, um, New Year's Eve is also called Chu Xi, which literally means to chase away Xi, which is also to chase away all the bad luck. So that's a really cute story that I thought I would share. Uh, you, guys, you guys might think, might be thinking, why does this kiddo playing a Christmas song in the end of January? Eh, uh, well, just like what David said and what I said back in last Friday, Christmas was like, uh, so this New Year is like Christmas, and well, most sadly, most of us cannot go home for that, but um, we, still, we can talk about the tradition real quick. So, for example, who likes, who likes money here? If you like money, put your hand up, put your hand up. I love money too. And this is exactly what we receive every single year, baby. And well, you know what we say to each other in New Year? We say, Gong Xi Fa Cai. Remember that. Gong Xi Fa Cai. You know what that means? It means, bro, I hope you get rich next year. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then after, I just bless you, bro. Can you mind just, you know, so you can give me some money too, just real quick? And then, well, this is what we get. So, elders give money to the, to the younger people in the family, and then that's, the money is contained in the red envelope. So red, well you probably see red, like the color red everywhere during the festival, well, red, red represents fortune and luck, key info over here guys. And uh, also coincidentally, it's also the color of failure, and it reminds me of something funny, which is I wonder how the school on the other side of the river gonna celebrate this festival because it's red. Well, uh, it's gonna be a miserable week for Macaulay then, sadly. Well, and well, talking about money. So what I said was the elders give money to the younger people. Well, good for me because I'm the youngest kid in my mom's side, and so which literally I got I got money from like all kind of people it's like. My mom, my old, my old man, my uncle, my uncle, my blah blah blah, like my sixth uncle, my third aunt, my my like my dad's brothers, cousins, father-in-law, I don't know, a bunch of stuff. And um, well, you know what? Bad news, because my cousin's giving a birth to a little baby, uh, which means <laughs> she's gonna be the youngest kid in the in the house now. Well, that was nice, Henry. Anyway, um, as David shared, yes, we have lots of dishes and, and lots of people during Lunar New Year because there, it's, it's basically a family reunion and you, met, you, you will meet like thousands of relatives that you have never met before <laughs> and you will eat together on the table. And um, the dishes would be, like, there would be so many food that you would spend the rest of the New Year eating what's left over of the New Year's Eve. But it, it's good food anyway, so it's fine. And here are some, like, examples of um, food that's made in different shapes and cute animals and stuff of the year. Um, in New Year, um, we would eat dumplings because it would look like money back then in um, China and a lot of uh, other countries in Asia. So it would also, like what Henry said, we like money, so we, we would try to put in every single thing we have. And um, in the New Year, there's also a, new, a tradition of wearing new clothes. And uh, most of the things are bought from your, by your family, your relatives, and the elders in your family. And a lot of those are for children, for kids. So for me, it was a really happy time of the year where I got to just receive gifts, like Christmas, which I didn't receive gifts until like 
last year. But it was, it was a good experience, and I had lots of fun as a kid receiving gifts and stuff from my families. Um, so another tradition would be the dragon and lion dance, where people would um, wear costumes of dragons and lions to dance together to also, like, in a way, perform the story of us um, getting rid of Xi, which is the monster, and also to bring in um, luck and to bring in happiness to the family, which is also a cool performance. If you look on your back, yeah, don't, no spoiler alert, no, don't, 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 oh, shoot. I messed up, but yeah, there is something like that. But like, hold on, we'll, we'll be finished quick so, so you can actually see the performance. But it's, it's good. She just messed up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so the Lantern Festival is something, oh, here it is. Um, so it's part of the whole Lunar New Year, but it's a special one because we celebrate it at the very last day of the New Year. People, people gather up like lantern, like lighting up lanterns, eating rice dump, not that dumplings, well, I was basically the same thing, but rice pudding and getting riddles and stuff. And this is just a quick explanation for that. It's very important to you for us. And video, please. And at the final of our speech, this is a very interesting performance that we prepared for a while, actually. So two of our Chinese students are gonna, pre gonna present a show, and I'll say they look kind of dope. Go. <laughs> Thanks so much. I have a wonderful new year. Happy Monday.